This is why I love travel and even more love landscape photography. It's moments like these I cherish. Good morning once again from the beautiful Venn in Austria. It is absolutely marvellous today. It's the first day I've had blue skies and my God, is, is it awesome. Stick around, we've got a jam packed day today exploring once again, hopefully, hopefully gonna make it to a glacier. Stick around, let's get on with it. Right now we're on a place called Glacier Road. I'll put a German name up here because I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but it is amazing. We're about 15, 20 minutes away from the actual glacier itself, but I can see just up the road there's a dam which looks incredible. It's an absolutely amazing mountain covered in snow, so I'm going to try and photograph either panoramic or maybe black and white because it's just such harsh light. But this view is absolutely incredible. I've just made my way up to the dam. I'm shooting vertical panoramic, zoomed up to about 55 mil. I'm shooting about five panoramics to join them together. The scale is really hard to get from this. It's huge in the background. It's over 3,700 meters, the, the mountain. I've used a polarized because it is really bright. I'm probably right now going to turn to black and white. I'm going to shoot about five panoramics, all in vertical, F11, two second timer, shoot them, and uh, hopefully it turns out all right in black and white. That right there behind me is the glacier we're heading towards. It's incredible here. I'm gonna roll some footage now to show you how awesome this place is. It's been such a tough day in Austria, I, I couldn't really say I've enjoyed myself. I've had views to witness such as this, it's been quite awful actually. <sighs> there is the glacier what we've come for, it's incredible up here. We're about two and a half thousand metres above and it is just, it's speechless, it is breathtakingly beautiful up here. Everywhere you look, every bit of road you turn around, you're like, oh my god, look at that, look at that, it just gets better and better and better. I still have to go up a little bit. We're going to try and catch a gondola to the top. I know it's a lazy way to do it, but you gotta do it, you gotta do the time frame. I'm gonna try and set up composition here to photograph the glacier. It's the middle of the day, it's, it's boring, the light's flat, but probably the best thing I can do is just turn it to black and white.
Oh God, I could just stare at this stuff all day. Once again, I'm shooting with the XT1 18 to 135, which is 24 to 206, uh, 35 mil equivalent. I really want to try and give a, a big sense of scale of how big this place is. It's really hard to capture through camera. So I'm going to try and uh, zoom up as much as possible. I'm going to convert basically straight to black and white because it's really poppy and really contrasty at the moment. I'm thinking about my chuck a polarizer on and then let's get shooting. Okay, this has to be one of the coolest things I've ever done. I just walked through a glacier in the Alps. This is just breathtakingly beautiful. Two and a half thousand meters above sea level, walking through snow, even right behind me, they've covered glacier, where the glacier breaks up between each other. It's just absolutely incredible. Walking around, zooming up on uh, big mountains, getting photographs of them turned black and white. It's just, I'm still speechless. Austria is just absolutely incredible. I am back at the same composition as last night. I've just looked out my window and the light has started to pop. So I haven't got much time, so I'm going to set up and rush. Let's go. This is what photography in the Alps is all about. The light is just popping. I love this photo. Camera settings are exactly the same as last night. 18 to 135 at about 35 mil. XT1, F11, ISO 200 giving me one sixth of a second shutter speed. The only thing different tonight is I'm not using a soft, soft grad. I'm not using a polarizer. Last night, the images come out a little bit weird in the top right hand corner due to those filter effects. So tonight I've gone three bracket exposure, no glass in the front, 
mainly two reasons because of last night's image and I was in a bit of a rush. So I'm just waiting right now for the lights in the village to turn on, take those images to blend them in and post. This is why I love landscape photography. Before I was sitting on the couch, I was exhausted from today. I've done everything, about 3,000 meters, walked through a glacier, photographed a glacier. I've, I've just had an incredible day. I was so tired sitting on the couch, looked outside, and the sky was just on fire. I remember saying to my dad, I'm not sure I can be bothered. And he said to me, you might not be here ever again. Come out, and my mood's just gone from here all the way here. I just love landscape photography and what it does to me personally. It's moments like this that I love travel and I love landscape photography. It's just perfect. I know I say it quite often, but I was just sitting there thinking as I was waiting for the lights to turn on the city that I say it's not all about the photo, it's about the walk, the hike, the exploring. But let me tell you, getting that photo just makes all that package worth it. It was awesome day today, as I said, mountains, snow, glaciers, walking through it. But to get that photo in the day just made the whole day worth it. As of tomorrow, I'll be getting up for sunrise. Sunrise is not delivered lately, it's been cloudy and overcast, but I'll see how it goes. For tomorrow I've got another valley to explore, going to the highest point in Austria to have a coffee and there should be waterfalls, everything along the way. Right now I'm going to get back, do more editing, head to bed, get up for sunrise hopefully. So saying that, get out there, keep exploring. That's all from today from Austria. Stick around, there's plenty more to come.